This drum uh, kind of started a whole phase of my life, really. Uh, 15 years ago this year, I first met Mike Dolbear, and uh, that was because I knew uh, the editor of the website, uh, although he wasn't the editor at the time, but uh, it's because I knew Simon, and um, I had, I think I expressed an interest in uh, basically reviewing gear. Uh, hardly surprised, but uh, you know, I I spoke to Mike very briefly uh, at, at the time, and it was at the uh, the uh, first first time he brought uh, uh, El Negro, uh, Horacio Hernandez, over, uh, and it was uh, to a little a little theatre in a place called Barnet, which is north sort of well north northwest London. I spoke to him and. He basically said, do a review of the last snare drum that you bought. So, that was this one. And uh, I did a review of it, and 15 years later, I'm still basically doing reviews of gear. This is the uh, Yamaha Anton Fig snare drum. Uh, it is may have possibly given it away by the uh, bloody great hoops. Um, I've had this drum, as I said, for about 15 years. I bought it brand new at Wembley Drum Centre. I've got a feeling I paid around 270 for it. Um, and I can't, while I can't say that I've used it extensively, it probably still is one of my favorite drums. Um, it is, if, if you know Anton Fig, Anton Fig basically played in the, uh, the band that was on the David Letterman show for uh, I don't know how many years, 25 years, 25 years plus. He, uh, obviously by virtue of of what he was doing, uh, I think he probably needed a, a snare drum that was quite versatile. And that is how I would describe this drum. It's a 14 by 6.5 shell with, as I've said, the 19 ply, uh, what were they actually, what's the proper name of them? The, oh yeah, 19 ply vintage hoop, uh, which, is is fantastic. I love these hoops. I love these wood hoops more than any other type of wood hoop, like the Craviotto ones. I I prefer these ones, uh, and I and I've um, I've got these same hoops on one of my Craviottos. I think these hoops give any drum that they're on uh, a more open sound, and it's definitely a sound that I like. Uh, Steve Jordan, as I've said before, is a massive, massive. Uh, well, I'm a massive fan of of him and his work and his playing. Um, and as you probably have seen, if you look at uh, if you know anything of Steve Jordan, he has these same hoops on uh, certainly on his snare drums and on uh, his gold Yamaha kit, if not uh, others as well. Yeah, I mean the drum the drum itself is in the sort of black gloss finish. Uh, it, it's fairly unexciting in that respect, I suppose. The lugs are different though. Uh, the lugs are different for uh, for a Yamaha drum. I, I'm, no, I'm not, ex I don't have an extensive knowledge of Yamaha hardware and drums, but uh, I don't recall seeing many other drums, if any, uh, with this lug on. Possibly the Elvin Jones and Billy Cobham drums. I can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, the lugs are different, as I said. I mean, but you've got the, the the Yamaha strainer. You know, it's it's it works. It's fine. Um, you've got the Yamaha wires on there. The, the kind of a the shells the, the shells kind of ambered a lot over the years. But uh, yeah, it's 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 one of my favourites. I'm very very superstitious sometimes these are the original heads uh, on this drum uh, I've got no they've been on here for 15 years I've got no plans of ever changing them I have this drum set to exactly where I like it and that's kind of where it's gonna stay until such time that the head basically breaks or I just can't use it anymore but um, yeah one of my favorite drums it's got a lovely, I, it, it, I would say this drum has, it has a tack, but it has a more rounded body to it because of the hoops. Um, and um, yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it. One of my favourites, definitely something that I'll never get rid of. And started a, 
yeah, a, a very uh, sort of, I suppose, prosperous and uh, interesting and fun part of my life for me. So, uh, you know, I, I guess I will always uh, be grateful to this drum for that. So, anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.